Welcome to the Pentec IntelliDrive Variable Frequency Drive Quick Start Video. This video will help to guide you through basic installation and in getting the Pentec IntelliDrive up and running. The first thing we're going to do is disconnect the power from the Pentec IntelliDrive. Anytime you need to open and or remove the drive cover to the Pentec IntelliDrive enclosure, you must disconnect the power and wait at least 5 minutes before opening or removing the drive enclosure. This is because the drive's internal components retain high voltage for up to 5 minutes after the input power is disconnected. When you turn the power off, the drive will fault to low voltage and the fan will turn on to help remove the retained power. Now let's get the Pentec IntelliDrive unpacked. Remove the tape from the top and gently rotate the box over and slide it off. Inside the box we'll find the Pentec IntelliDrive, pressure transducer, and transducer cable. A few tools you'll want to make sure you have readily available are the Pentec IntelliDrive owner's manual, a Phillips head screwdriver, a small slotted screwdriver, and two to four screws to mount the Pentec IntelliDrive. There are a few things to keep in mind when selecting a location. First, the Pentec IntelliDrive must be installed vertically. Next, make sure to leave 3 inches of clearance around the drive to ensure proper cooling. And when mounting to a wall, be sure that the top and bottom screws are entering a stud or post. Now it's time to start wiring. Before we start wiring, we'll want to check the owner's manual and make sure we're using the proper wire gauge. You can find the proper wiring size on page 6 and 7. Also, pay close attention to how the wires are being run. You want to make sure that you don't cross your wires with each other. And if it can't be avoided, make sure you cross them at a right angle and at least 8 inches apart. Conduit holes and knockouts are located in the base of the Pentec IntelliDrive for easy clean wiring and to help limit bending. Ok, let's get wiring. Unplug the motor terminal connector from the box by firmly pulling straight down. For three phase and single phase three wire submersible motors, insert the red wire in the R slot, the yellow wire in the Y slot, and the black wire in the B slot. And tighten the screws with the slotted screwdriver. For single phase two wire submersible motors, connect Y and B in any order. And for above ground motors, connect L1 to R, L2 to Y, and L3 to B. And you'll need to verify a rotation for this installation. Once all the wires are firmly in place, plug the motor terminal block back into the driver. Then attach the green ground wire to the grounding screw located to the left of the terminal block. Next, we'll connect the transducer cable. Make sure that when installing the transducer that it is installed after the tank and directly in the flow of water on a straight run pipe. You don't want to float the transducer, install before the tank or before a T, as these situations will not provide the Pentec IntelliDrive with accurate readings and therefore the unit will not function correctly. Also, after installing the transducer and running the cable to the Pentec IntelliDrive, make sure that any extra transducer cable is cut and removed. 
never coiled on the outside or inside of the Pentec IntelliDrive housing, as this could result in RFI interference which can damage the drive. The connections for the transducer are spring-loaded, so all you need to do is push up on the tab with your finger or a slotted screwdriver. Slip the wire into place from the bottom, and once you release the tab to the spring terminal, the wires are locked into place. We'll connect the red wire to AI+, and the black wire to AI-, and the green wire to the metal cable shield screw. Now it's time to connect the input power connection. Unplug the input power connection terminal. Attach the L1 and L2 wires. and then reconnect the input power connection terminal. Attach the green ground cable to the input ground screw located just to the right of the terminal. Now let's double check and make sure that our input ground, output ground, and transducer shield wire are properly secured into place. We'll start by restoring power to the Pentec IntelliDrive. Once the Pentec IntelliDrive is powered up, the LCD display should read Setup Guide. If it doesn't, press the password button, enter the default password 7777, and press Enter. Press the main menu button, Press the up or down arrow until reset appears and press enter to edit. Change no to yes and confirm reset. Enter the motor phase, either one or three, and then press enter. For single phase motors, you'll select the connection type, either two or three wire. For three phase motors, you'll select the motor type, either submersible or above ground. From here, you'll enter the service factory amps. This information can be found in the owner's manual or on a label on the motor. Once you've entered in the proper information, press enter. Set the time, now set the date, and the setup is complete. During pump out mode be sure the flow is not restricted because the pump is running at a constant speed and restricting flow can cause high pressure. This can result in an explosion that can cause serious injury, property damage, or even death. Direct the pump's discharge to the appropriate location not connected to the system and press the pump out button. The Pentec IntelliDrive will ask you is the valve open? To continue change the word no in the black box to yes and press enter. The pump will run at 45 Hz by default, but you can adjust this by pressing the enter button, then change the frequency by pushing the up or down arrows and then press enter again. Keep in mind that the system is set at 45 Hz to prevent upthrusting, which can destroy the pump end. Run your drive in this mode until the discharge runs clear. Do not leave the pump unattended. It cannot go to sleep or sense dry run. There's no automatic stop, so you'll need to press the stop button, or the pump will continue to run.
Open up the valves at the ends of the lines so the air will escape during pressurization. And then press auto start. The drive will go into auto line fill. If the drive does not sense 10 PSI within 3 minutes it will stop. And all you'll need to do is turn the drive back on. Once all the air has escaped, close the valves at the end of the lines. When the transducer senses 10 PSI, the drive will go into constant pressure mode and maintain 60 PSI. If your system requires a different pressure, use the PSI preset to change the set point. Remember, anytime you need to open or remove the drive cover to the Pentec IntelliDrive enclosure, you must turn the power off to the unit and wait at least 5 minutes before opening or removing the drive enclosure. This is because the drive's internal components retain high voltage for up to 5 minutes after the input power is disconnected. Once the power is removed from the drive, it will fault to a low voltage and the fan will turn on to help remove any retained power. You'll know it's safe to remove the cover when the Pentec IntelliDrive LCD display has powered off. Thank you for watching the Pentec IntelliDrive Quick Start Guide video. And for more information, go to PentairLearningCenter.com or Pumps.com.